the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 214, Jeremiah 37 to 38, Zedekiah and Jeremiah's sacred meeting. Jeremiah listened to God's pain more carefully than to his own and sincerely preached the word of God even in the middle of harsh persecution. First point, Zedekiah only looked for the miracle of King Hezekiah, which had occurred 150 years ago. Zedekiah took the place of his nephew, Joachim, who was taken to Babylon during the second round of captivity. The Babylon king appointed Zedekiah, and because of this, the people of South Judah did not support or acknowledge Zedekiah. All those who were left in South Judah and all those who were taken as captives to Babylon regarded Jehoiachin as their real king. And so this made things difficult for Zedekiah. Zedekiah requested to Jeremiah for a secret prayer. What Zedekiah wanted was for a miracle that happened 150 years ago to Hezekiah. Zedekiah was not interested in Jeremiah's message that God's judgment on South Judah was already decided and all he wanted was a miracle. He also wanted the help from Egypt. When South Judah asked Egypt for help, Babylon heard this and tried to attack Egypt. During this time, Babylon left South Judah for a while to fight against Egypt. Regarding Zedekiah's prayer, God gave him a response. As God had said, the Egyptian army returned to Egypt, and Jerusalem was attacked by Babylon again. When Jeremiah told Zedekiah the exact same response from God after his prayer, Zedekiah's servants called Jeremiah pro-Babylonian and that he was a spy. They also locked him up and did not give him any food. Second point. Before the fall of South Judah, Zedekiah and Jeremiah had their first secret meeting. When Jeremiah was locked up and was given no food, Zedekiah called for him in secret. As Jeremiah was called a pro-Babylonian and a traitor, Zedekiah wanted to meet Jeremiah in private. Jeremiah told Zedekiah God's message again and cried not to be sent back to prison. It was because he thought that he would die if he went back. Jeremiah persuaded Zedekiah that he was God's true prophet and that what he said was God's truth. Jeremiah did not have to go back to that prison, but was taken to the palace prison, where he was at least given some food. Third point, the officials of South Judah threatened Jeremiah and threw him into a pit to die. Jeremiah was moved to the palace prison, where he was given minimum food to eat. However, he was once again in danger because Jeremiah continuously shouted that South Judah would fall. The officials of South Judah could not stand this and so persuaded Zedekiah to throw him into a pit. The pit he was thrown into was meant to be for a while but due to a drought. There was only dry clay left inside. Abed-Melech, however, came to Jeremiah's rescue. Here, Jeremiah purchased the land in his hometown, Anathoth. Fourth point. Just before the fall of South Judah, Zedekiah and Jeremiah had their second and last sacred meeting. When Jeremiah was pulled out from the pit, Zedekiah called for Jeremiah again in private. Zedekiah wanted to check one more time what God was going to do. Jeremiah, therefore, persuaded Zedekiah to surrender. 
Jeremiah confirmed that God's decision was Babylon captivity for 70 years and that Zedekiah was to let go of his position. The sooner he surrendered, the sooner he would be able to survive, prevent Jerusalem from burning down, and save his family. Despite hearing all this, Zedekiah still did not surrender. Zedekiah confessed to Jeremiah how he really felt. He said that although he felt that he should surrender, he was afraid that the people who were already taken to Babylon would mock him. In other words, he was too afraid of being mocked, that he was willing to ignore the burning down of Jerusalem and its people altogether. Indeed, he was an irresponsible king. Fifth point, the last order from Zedekiah was a threat to kill Jeremiah in order to keep their private meetings secret. King Zedekiah disobeyed God until the end. As the king, he gave his final order to Jeremiah. This was that if he told anyone about this meeting, that Jeremiah would be put to death. This was the last command of the king of Judah and the descendant of David. What Zedekiah should have done was to go out to the people and command them to surrender to Babylon. If he did this, Nebuchadnezzar's command would have been different. As for Jeremiah, up until the last day of South Judah, he had to live in a prison cell. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.